I find the, the program and the courses uh, very helpful and, uh, and enlightening and uh, really practical and uh, useful in the real world. This program, uh, I was, when I found it on the internet, it was, uh, I was interested immediately because it's one of the very few human rights programs in the whole of Asia. So the ATMA program has a, two main philosophies. One is that it's a multidisciplinary program. You know, most human rights courses tend to be taught as law and most democratization courses tend to be taught as political science. We like to involve a range of dis different disciplines and so the students do experience learning within political science and sociology and law, but also areas like development and environment and social welfare. So they're more equipped to um, address other issues around whether it's disability or the environment or um, development. So it's a regional program. We have five universities involved. First semester, all the students come to Mahiron University and they're here from August till about January and we do four or five courses. Second semester, the students then divide it up and they go to four different universities. They can go to Gajamada um, University in Yogyakarta in Indonesia. They can study at uh, Ateneo University in Manila in the Philippines, Kathmandu School of Law in Nepal, or University of Colombo in um, Sri Lanka. I think it definitely met my expectation because the conceptual theories and uh, framework that we learned in class, we defi definitely got to apply in our daily lives as well through our courses such as human rights violations, which was mostly practical skills. And it was a mix of both a theory and practical knowledge. The professors are uh, very knowledgeable about uh, human rights. Um, our professors provide. We also have guest lecturers who are also experts in their field from non-government organizations, from international uh, bodies. The learning experience is not only localized, but it's also globalized. The class is, is a very diverse class. Almost three dozen students from, almost, from over two uh, dozen countries. So that gives you an insight on human rights situations in so many countries that you don't, you don't get that experience from elsewhere. Many of the activities here, they've, uh, it is more than, it's more than just an assignment. This is a, a way of building skills that you can uh, further use um, in real life. I guess with it being an assignment, it's almost like um, a, real, a real world simulation of um, a future work and work that is uh, often conducted uh, in human rights work. We have a number of field trips. Some are just day trips to like the United Nations or NGOs working on areas like um, say migrant workers or trafficking. We also have a longer field trip where they visit a place or to, to, um, uh, to explore one particular issue. So many graduates want to go and work in the civil society sector, whether it's for development or environment or human rights or democracy organisations. It was a very great experience just because um, because we built this. This is something that, it, um, that we can be satisfied with and uh, it just made us more confident going into this uh, type of work in the future. So anyone can apply, assuming you've got a, a bachelor's degree and it's taught in English, so you need the necessary language skills. Um, the, people, the people who do tend to apply, most of the students come from either they're out of a bachelor's degree and they may have done one or two years experience working in say, maybe it's a government office or maybe it's an NGO. And this is a challenge for all students and all people who are studying. It's not just about learning, it's about how you give back what you learn in order to help change uh, whatever is wrong with the world right now and how to make the good things about the world better.